mio sogno diventare giornalista. I have never done something like this before, but Yusuf brought me to this touchless car wash. So I wash my car for me. I hope this doesn't break anything because all my carbon bits are like really exposed on the car and there's not much protection. So I'm a prey. So far, so good. All right, we made it out. Now to escape without this thing breaking my car. How do you hit with the jets? I was not expecting it to be like that at all, so it's pretty good, so thank you to Yusuf for showing me that. I'm about to head out to Horsha Beaverton for cars and coffee. See you guys there. This is 90. Damn, the saddle brown interior is so sick on that. I think a B7 RS4. EPR tune. This thing is so clean. Yeah, the dual spoke is sick. Look, it has like two on one and one on the other. Like two spoke, one spoke. That thing is so beautiful. Yo, what is this room, bro? Dude, Dude what the? <laughs> oh my god, look at those. Sick. <laughs> bro, hold on. They, bro, they got 918 spider on the seats. I feel like I'm in a spider. That's sick. This is the coolest room I think I've been in at any dealership.
exhaust flaps open. Dude, this thing is cake. Is that is that frost or that's frost? <laughs> Alpine white G87, F80 comp. Oh, the downshifts. There's a 4RS right there. Oh, uh, Christian, that's the 4RS from the other day I was talking about. They got the bumper on now. Bro, I wish my car was that loud. I got that warranty though, bro. I can't void that warranty with the downpipe. Yes, you can. These come with the drift mode too, I think. Yeah, that looks really good. I think he lowered it too. Oh my god, bro. I didn't realize that. It's a manual TTRS. Manual G87. Yeah, I mean, it's a Porsche dealership. I don't know why they have speed bumps all over the place. Okay, that was valves closed. Now valves open. I've never heard a car that loud. Actually, nah, I've heard like a like a E92 M3 louder than that, but that's a V8. Dude, that sounds crazy for a straight six. <laughs> Valve's closed.
mio sogno diventare giornalista. So as you guys know, I have the Fairgray 437Ms on my F30. These came off of a 2017 F80 M3. These wheels are 19 by 9 in the front, ET29, and in the rear they are 19 by 9 ET40. The car is lowered on BC coilovers. They are the BR series coilovers from BC Racing. In the rear, I'm tucking tires slightly. As you guys can see, the fin in the rear is completely perfect. Although in the front, it could go a little bit lower. Um, the only problem is I wouldn't be able to get into my driveway. So I do keep it just a little bit taller in the front and then in the rear it's completely dumped. But as of right now, I'm loving this setup. Uh, it gets a lot of attention online just because it's really hard to find the fair gray version of the 437M. Most of the time people just find the black and silver ones online and these ones are more hard to come by. It took me about eight months to find just this colorway for the 437s. They don't come around that often as most of the time people who ordered their F80s, F82s, F83s ordered them as a competition package with the 666M wheels or the black and silver ones as they thought they were more aggressive. But I think that the silver 437Ms do a great job of showing the lines of the wheels and kind of help make the wheels stand out more. I'm more of a fan of silver wheels as opposed to black wheels just because I think they look a lot better on the car and the shadows don't hide the detail of the wheel. So, For tires in the rear I'm running a 265-35-19 in the Goodyear Eagle Exhilarates. In the front I'm running a 235-40-19. So in the rear it's a 35 sidewall and then the front is a 40 sidewall. I think this helps just fill in the gap a little bit more in the front and then the rear I'm able to get a little bit more tuck. So the tire setup is perfect for what I'm going for and I think the fitment overall is just perfect on this car. You can barely get one finger in there and then in the rear there is no finger. You can't get a finger in there. So if you guys are wondering if I rub at all, if there are passengers in the rear it sometimes does rub although I can kind of get around that if they sit in the middle if it's just one passenger. So. It's not too bad, but if you guys are going to lower the car as much as I did, I would suggest probably not having passengers in the rear as it will rub. Um, but if you're not concerned about that, I think this is overall just a perfect setup for what the car is and I'm really, really liking the way it looks. I want to thank you guys all so much for watching if you guys enjoyed the video please make sure to leave it a like and please consider subscribing i'm going to be posting a lot more currently i'm trying to upload once or twice a week at least so if you guys are enjoying the content make sure to hit the subscribe button and i'll see you guys all in the next video see ya